Welcome, Welcome to, to the Mother Daughter Ish podcast. podcast. It's your mama's favorite podcast. And the podcast your daughter always wanted. This is Miss Dawn. And Angelique. From, from the, the 713. 713. Houston, y'all. Get connected and stay connected weekly as new shows debut on Sunday, Wednesday, and please check out our Saturday Out and About showcases. Enjoy the show. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and tell every woman on the planet that you know about our show. Here's our show for for today. today. Hello, mothers and daughters. I wanted to share something with you that I purchased. You know what? It's cold outside, so start my car because then I can have the heater on but I purchased an EMF tester if you have never heard of an EMF tester it's basically a way for you to check the uh, frequency and radiation and things like that that may be from your internet or just from you know different a 5g okay it's all about 5g so I purchased this on Amazon for about maybe $30. It came in the mail. It was 34 maybe. It came in the mail. They give you more information about it, but I wanted you to just kind of see. Um, and I've tested it, and I didn't have a lot of radiation. It's easy. It looks like a little, the old school cell phone. So I'm going to turn it on. can look at it right there you can see that it's zero so there's there's no radiation or anything in my car but what I did do is in my bedroom where I have of course a TV and a cell phone I put it on in there and this number down here did say 10 so I don't know I don't know why I just turned red but that number said 10 so my point of this is that just to be safe, if you want to get you one of these little, uh, you would, I want to say doohickeys, but one of these little EMF testers, it would be a good idea for you, especially if you're wanting to reduce the amount of radiation around you or reduce the number of things that could be causing some issues. Because I'm going to give you a little bit more about this. This is just part one of the video. In part two, I'm going to talk to you more about uh, the serious issues you know when you don't know what the numbers are as compared to knowing what they are it's a very small device like for example you can see it fits in my hand and um, oh that's funny I moved it some kind of way and it went to number two where it went red but I think it's okay but just so that you can maybe reduce you know some things around you that could be affecting your health, it could be affecting your mind, it could be affecting something that you're doing and you don't even know that because you have radioactive things in your home. Like I put this up next to, so for example, let me grab my cell phone. Where's my cell phone? There's so many times that I just don't even bother with my cell phone. But I'm going to take my cell phone and I'm going to put it, put it up to it and see what it says. You see what happened when I put the cell phone there? The number started moving. I'm gonna do it again. See what happens when I put the cell phone there? So you see me doing this in real time, and as you can see, this is my iPhone. This is my iPhone. It's an iPhone 13. I'm putting this right next to here, and as you can see, it's making making this react. So my point is, if you have the cable boxes, if you have cell phone as most do, I'm not going to say everybody has a cell phone because I have at least five friends who live off grid who have no cell phone. They have a landline from 50 years ago have never owned a cell phone, not even back in the day that they have a pager. (laughs) So I just wanted to share this little EMF tester with you. Again, it came in this little box. It's got all the details and everything on the back. It's as small as a cell phone. You can keep it 
actually in your pocket if you wanted to or in your belongings for women a purse men whatever a briefcase whatever you carry and you could always be testing especially when you go into different stores that may have a high frequency of some type of radiation or something like that but um, just to show you that's my purpose for getting it because I just wanted to test it now let me tell you this the next product that I purchased even I am a little skittish not about sharing it because I can't wait to share it with you but I'm a little skittish about using it because just tune in to the next show again this is part one for the EMF tester I'm going to give you more details on it through some facts and figures it's just that I'm in the car right now and I want to be able to present it to you very well so that you can understand the method to my madness <laughs> but the next product that I'm going to present to you is absolutely wild and the history of it is even more wild and the resources that I'm going to give you to go and look it up for yourself is even more rabbit hole wild so that's what I wanted to tell you for part one to just show you one of the things that I got for 2024 that I'm just looking forward to it helping me to make better decisions on you know things that I'm surrounding myself with and I hope that it'll do the same for you I'll be back for part two to give you more facts and figures. Hey, mothers and daughters. I am excited to show you something that I've kind of been letting you know that I was going to show you. This is part two. And so I showed it to you in part one on this video. And now I just want to give you the information that I said I would give you. So a lot of people don't know what the purpose of an EMF tester is. And it basically can let you know about electromagnetic fields that are near you that also is harmful to you. It also measures the electromagnetic field in particular areas and from particular devices. I showed you in part one how the meter kind of went a little wacky when it came to the cell phone, what it was emitting. And the only reason why I wanted to show you from the cell phone is because a lot of people sleep with their cell phones in the bed with them like I used to do and with the iPad and all that stuff. Now again, the purpose of it is just to measure electromagnetic fields, electromagnetic fields around you. But quickly, in this part two video, I want to tell you the reasons why I purchased my EMF inspector uh, tester. So the reason that I purchased mine is because of health concerns. Like I said, I wanted to make sure that I didn't have anything that was going to affect my health that's around me. So that leads also into safety, safety concerns for my health. And that was why I purchased mine. I've been wanting to get one for like a year. And I just, you know, kept avoiding it and avoiding it. And just, you know how you have your list and your things for your Amazon list. And you just get two, three things at a time, two, three. I finally got around to it. I have mine for occupational safety, you know, for when I'm going into places that I'm not familiar with. And maybe it's an electronic store with a lot of, you know, things happening in there or a lot of 5G that's going on in the world as well environmental impact so that means what's around my environment everywhere I look I'm seeing more and more and more of these 5G towers and they're not as high as you think they are they're kind of low again like I told you electromagnetic compatibility okay and then radio frequency so RF so if you go on wherever you purchase, whatever you purchase, just look up EMF tester or RF tester and you can get you one as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it was educational for you and if you want to learn more, do what I always tell you. Go online, check it out for yourself, read about it, look at some other videos and things like that and decide if it's something that you need in your house or around your property. That's my show for today on EMF testers. Friday find. I'm going to have some every Friday. Bye!